today on Everything Neuropathy. We're here to discuss chemical-induced neuropathy, specifically statin drugs. Does it cause neuropathy? Does it not? I'm your host, Dr. Karen May. I'm the owner and physician here at Momentum Health Neuropathy Center, but I'm a neuropathy survivor myself. Though mine wasn't, stat wasn't statin-induced or chemical-induced, mine was surgical-induced, there's over a hundred different causes of neuropathy. And when you're losing your quality of life and being told that there's nothing more to be done besides take meds and hang in there, that's just not an option when you're living in the body who's suffering and quality of life is out the, out the window. So anything I talk about today, it, it does not constitute medical advice. Please definitely talk with your doctor. Our whole goal is that you have knowledge, but with an application step, but it is also used for educational purposes. So I had, earlier this year, I was challenged by a local physician, which I'm perfectly okay with, uh, when I had, we had a mutual patient, client, uh, talk to them and say, hey, Dr. May said there's a potential that my statin drugs are causing neuropathy. And this cardiologist came back and said, nope, there was a study done and, and, and it does not. Well, I didn't get the information as to what, but I'm like, you know what, I wanna jump in. I wanna see what's new out there. Foundation for Peripheral Neuropathy has a whole list of chemical-induced uh, um, neuropathy possibilities. So chemotherapy is probably the most common that we're all very aware of, but statin drugs are on there. So I went back and uh, kind of jumped into the research. And one of the first things that I saw was, um, I mean, back there's lots of research back in the 2000s. I was looking at 2015, 2016, and some of the newer stuff as early as... Um, as early as 2021, just recently. And there was one study that showed how in an animal model that sometimes statin drugs could be actually be beneficial for nerves. But then it said, but in a clinical application and a clinical model, they found that it absolutely did have the potential to cause statin-induced neuropathic pain, neuropathy. Uh, there was a couple like that. And so this big study done in 2001 that was published talked about how, I mean, we're talking, it was a meta-analysis. So it looked at hundreds of thousands of patients and it was determined that it could not say it would, that statins had a st statistically significant increase in neuropathy. So they just essentially said, nope, it doesn't cause neuropathy. So I'm wondering if that's where that physician came from. Uh, but I had to then go back and look as to, well, we're not just usually just statins. We're not just cholesterol. Usually when people are coming in clinically sitting with me, they have multiple factors that cause neuropathy. And there's over a hundred of them. So if we're seeing somebody who's on diabetic medications, diabetes can cause neuropathy. We're seeing people with blood pressure issues. Well, that means you're not getting blood flow to these nerves, that's a potential. And then we're seeing also having cholesterol, but that bigger picture shows me cardiovascular health, which shows me inflammation. So when someone comes to my office and they're on multiple medications for chronic illnesses, that their root causes are inflammation, it makes me go, hmm, Okay, so they don't just have one cause of neuropathy, but how can we look at them as a whole person investigatively to try to determine their possibilities and what steps can they take? So first and foremost, if you've watched any of our videos, I'm gonna come down to using food as medicine. On average, it's about 70% of your overall health. And in 2004, British Journal of Medicine had a great um, article that they published around Poly meal, meaning eating anti-inflammatory foods, is a better approach to treating cardiovascular disease than poly pill, meaning taking multiple pills. And what they found by eating an anti-inflammatory um, food plate, nutrition plate, uh, had a 75% reduction in already established cardiovascular disease. That meant less inflammation, meaning less need for medications because you're not stressing out your cardiovascular system. And so when we're sitting in front of people in our office here, and I just hear that they're taking statin drugs, typically we're seeing dosages closer to 40 and 80 milligrams for a long period of time that has the potential to contribute to neuropathy. I don't think it's necessarily the primary cause of neuropathy, but I'm looking at is at a whole person. And so if we have a little bit of blood pressure, a little bit of blood sugar, a little bit of cholesterol, 
it can contribute. Maybe we have back issues or have had back surgeries. It's another contributing factor. Maybe there was surgery, right? And that's another contributing factor. So I like to tell people, sometimes you don't just have cherries in your bowl and you just don't have the, aha, this is it. Mine, I understood it, surgery. Someone has chemo, they understand where it's coming from. But many people have what's called idiopathic or they don't know. And when we start to tease through that, they have lots of little different reasons as to why they have neuropathy. So is it conclusive that statin drugs cause neuropathy? No. Is research always uh, conclusive? It's not. But that's why medicine is looking at you as a whole person and not just is one thing or not causing your neuropathy. So if you're interested in knowing more, first thing you can do is literally call our office, 517-883-2291. Come on in, let's sit down, let's have that conversation and understand where you're at. If you also just wanna learn more, go to our website, check out our events page. Sometimes we have community seminars and communities near you, but we also have webinars to, to help people to learn more about what is neuropathy. How is it causing the, the damaging effects in your body? Maybe some of the common medication methods you've tried, yet you're still searching for relief. And then it outlines how just natural, just natural like resources in order to help you to overcome your neuropathy. We use food as medicine, work on improving blood flow, then you have a shot at healing those nerves. So if you want to learn more, head to our website, mymomentumhealth.com.